have to get to a point where the production and consumption of goods and commodities reflects the price in terms of the impact it has on the environment. The oceans cover three times the Earth's land area. They are vast, but no longer impenetrable. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, three quarters of the world's fish stocks are either fully exploited, overexploited, or depleted. Pollution and overfishing are the main culprits, and no law governs the high seas. But people and their pocketbooks can make a difference. Consumers are beginning to express clear preferences for sustainable products, sometimes dragging governments and industry behind them. The rise of eco-labeling lets consumers make decisions based on sustainability, and business is following their lead. The organic and fair trade sectors are showing up to 40% growth per annum, compared to 3% for conventional food products, according to the World Bank. The Marine Stewardship Council, the MSC, has, through its MSC stamp of approval, pioneered the marketing of sustainable fish supplies. The idea was to create a, a market me mechanism and a consumer label to try and reverse the decline in global fish stocks. The system works by giving the MSC label to catches which independent assessors say come from a sustainable source. The MSC's definition of sustainability really has these three main elements, that, that the fish stocks are healthy, that the ecosystem impact is minimal, and that the fisheries management system is effective. It all comes down to management. The global fishing fleet is two and a half times larger than the oceans can sustainably support. In 1992, the Newfoundland Atlantic cod fishery collapsed and 40,000 people lost their jobs, including 10,000 fishermen. Was it an avoidable calamity? Well, the Atlantic Sea was, was you know, overfished and you know, being a fisherman, you're going to, if, if, if somebody doesn't regulate it, you're, you're going to fish it until you know, the last fish is gone, probably. Fifteen years on, the cod have still not returned. On the other side of the continent in the Pacific, the Alaskan cod fishery has developed very differently. I think we've been raised in a, a different uh, system here, uh, and so we look at things differently. I, I think that's the real advantage for us. A quota system has meant stringent safeguards on fish stocks. It limits catches to what scientists contend are sustainable. Sound management has sparked hope that consumer power will force the world's fisheries to become sustainable. Paul Gillian is managing director of Bering Select, fishing off the Alaskan coast. It's the first company to market cod with the MSC stamp of approval. Uh, it happened slowly at first. It's increasing now very rapidly in Europe. We see it increasing in the United States uh, and even in Japan now. We've had inquiries uh, about MSC certified Alaska cod. Most of the major retailers in the UK, uh, Walmart in the US, uh, Metro in Germany, um, and many others are, are coming forward. Whole Foods, a leading North American supplier of sustainable foods with over 200 stores, confirms the growth of consumer power. In the past, consumers just wanted to know about the price and the quality. It goes beyond that now. So it's, again, it's health, uh, of the health uh, aspects of the product and the safety of the product and sustainability of the resource. A picture there for you. Companies that are using our label are selling products in 35 different countries and there are over 800 product lines that are currently in existence uh, bearing the MSC Eco label. There is approximately 7% of the world's global capture fisheries for human consumption who are engaged with the MSC program. Yeah.